huge. I mean, we've always spoken about what the difference it makes when you've got fans behind you, and you probably hear it through our mics throughout the whole game. There's, I wouldn't like to guess how many people are in the stadium right now, but I believe it's probably close to 5,000 already. Mm. Uh, Rizal is known for filling up late as well. There's still time for people to come in because every single person, every single voice around this pitch is going to help the Philippines in their campaign to lifting their first major trophy at this level. It is a huge, huge knot. I cannot express how big an occasion this is for Philippine football. Last time these two sides met, Chatnyanat Chetabutur able to score the solitary goal in that one. How big of a difference will this match be between these two sides? Well, I think the Philippines have handled themselves exceptionally well when it comes to their tactical adjustments. They haven't made big changes, but they've made subtle changes throughout the competition, kept a few cards in their pockets, made sure that they're played and not given away too much. However, the way that we counter-attacked and counter-pressed against Vietnam, I hope that we didn't show too much because Thailand and Vietnam play similar styles of football. So they've had a little bit of time to adjust and do their homework. The stage is set for a fantastic 90 minutes of football. And here we go. Moments away now from kickoff. Anticipation palpable in the nation's capital. It will be Thailand who get us going. And they have won this tournament four times already. They've got the experience behind them and a winning culture behind them as well as plenty of time playing together as a unit. But this Filipina side has shown to be something else entirely. And the rise has been incredible over the last few months. There is the whistle from referee B. T. T. Trang. We are underway. Filipinas playing in red tonight. An early touch here for Olivia McDaniel, the goalkeeper. Exchange between Savitsky and Egesvik. First touch for Quindy Quesada. Ball over the top. One of the biggest factors from the last match they played against one another is the fact that Serena Bolden is starting tonight, Darren. She was tremendous against Vietnam. We'd expect you to play a big role again here tonight. Yeah, not only will she play a big role, but Bolden will most likely also be a marked player. Uh, that's what happens when you go out and score a brace in the semi-final. So she'll have to be very intelligent with her running off the ball tonight. Into Bolden made contact with it, but wasn't able to get it into the danger area. Sophia Harrison has a long throw in her. She looks like she's running up to deliver exactly that. Harrison's ball, Bolden able to knock it on. Thailand doing well to deny a corner kick. Madarang using her body well. Savitsky under pressure. Looking to catch Olivia McDaniel off her line. Quick thinking from the number 14, Sawalak Pengnam. Didn't get the technique correct. teams have only conceded two goals in this edition of the tournament. Thailand conceding two against Australia. The Philippines conceding one against Indonesia and the other against Thailand. So defensively very solid these two teams. Yeah, very similar in terms of defending. Both teams have only conceded two goals apiece with their campaigns. I mean, the way that they press each other is just a real indication as to why they've managed to come so far through the competition with that statistic. And it's unable to turn into the space behind her marker. She's been massive in this competition for the Philippines. Tane Anis, captain of the Philippines, scored one and assisted two 
of the semi-final. Ines trying to beat Giyu. Giyu. What a stop from the goalkeeper. Shot Mani. Tom Mongol. Crucial intervention. Yeah, Giyu is just really picking off from where she left off in the last game. Fantastic little reverse pass, but the timing of the run almost to perfection. Good goalkeeping, though. Ball just beyond. Boy Chompu, Som Nuek. Sort of wonder goal against Australia in the group stages. A distance. Looking for Kanyanat. Anis. Sarah Egesvik. The two midfielders for the Philippines going to be key tonight. Sarah Egesvik and Jacqueline Savitsky. They've been revelations in this tournament. a sense of calm to when the Philippines have the ball. Here is Jacqueline Savitsky. Bolden out wide. Thailand looking to play quickly. McDaniel. That's calmly done by the center back, Jessica Coward. Yeah, and it's really the combination of the back four with the goalkeeper in behind them just keeping their heads, staying composed, which has been a real key point to why the Philippines has progressed to this final. Some other kind of situation that got the Philippines into trouble in their elimination match. This time, Jessica Coward holding her nerve. And that's going to be the first corner kick for the Philippines. The Filipinas scoring twice from the corner in their semi-final encounter against Vietnam. Well, we saw it against Vietnam, Jing. The Philippines does have a size advantage when it comes to set pieces, so they're going to take this serious and make sure they set it up properly. You can see that they've worked on something in the dressing room on the training ground, and let's see if they can bring it into action. Tane Anis, deadly with the delivery from set pieces. That's how both of her assists came about. In the last match, would expect her to put in another good ball here once the referee sorts out the jockeying inside the box. Haley Long is going to be a player to watch in particular. She was the one who thumped in the opener against Vietnam. And it's his ball. Well, you 
can't take away from the quality of the set piece that's gone into the box. Yes, we've got the size advantage, but that's nothing if there's no quality on that end product, that final delivery. It was a fantastic corner, just at the right height, just enough pace. And even though Thailand were trying to stay nice and tight, sometimes that's a disadvantage. It gets crowded, it makes it difficult for the defenders. And it's a dream start. It's a dream start, not even 10 minutes gone, and the Philippines is 1-0 up in the final of the AFF. Unbelievable. Couldn't have planned it any better. And Jessica Cowan, what a time to score for the Philippines. I believe her first for the country. And she's done it in the final. 22-year-old defender, Jessica Cowan. Actually, quite a new addition to this squad. And just like Egesvik and Savitsky, she's been a real revelation in this competition. And she might have just made the biggest contribution yet. And I think she's really built herself into the squad as well. Just You can see it progressively every game, just getting introduced during out the campaign, during the progression coming into this competition. Uh, Well-deserved goal. And of course, when the defenders score, just kind of puts them right on the edge now and then they're going to toughen up. It's difficult from a coaching perspective now. You don't really want to change anything. You're not going to plan going out and being 1-0 up yeah. in the first 10 minutes of a final. So for me, nothing changes. Got to keep things tight. Got to accept the fact that Thailand will push over the next 5-10 minutes. The referee, we did to Trang. Just trying to keep things calm tonight. Of course, in a final with tension so high, things will be bound to get a bit chippy. Ball from McDaniels, knocked on by Bolden. And it's giving chase. And she's going to lift it into the box. Another corner kick for the Philippines. for Isapa in the crowd. And it's got to be a feeling of dread for every back line that faces a set piece from Tanayanis. Well, I think you've got to do your homework. You've got to limit giving away corners, especially free kicks in and around the box because Anis is fantastic. It's another good ball in as well. This time cleared away, but right back to Tanayanis who can put in a good ball. Goalkeeper getting a touch to it. Follow Players are down. Thailand looking to clear their lines. The referee blows the whistle. It looks like it's Sophia Harrison who is struggling a little bit. Went for the follow-up at the edge of the area. You can see she causes chaos with every ball into the box, Tane Anis. That's a good punch away from Chotmani. There was that shot from Harrison, and on the follow-through, she clipped the player from Thailand. Chotmani, Tongbong call, needing a bit of treatment. And no surprise there, she took quite the hit in the air. But that's got to be playing in her mind now as well. Every ball into the box is going to be challenged. What a tempo this game is being played at. Just 12 minutes in, it's breezed by Darren. Yeah, and there was no building into the game either, especially after that quick goal. Now both teams are really going to have to test each other. Thailand have got the work to do. I don't think Thailand will panic. They've scored plenty of goals building up, but they will have in the back of their minds, and the coaching staff will know that the Philippines, when they have momentum, are dangerous every time they go forwards. Thailand looking to recompose themselves. Bolden. Ha 
Mañana doing well. Spreading it out wide. And Thailand looking to find their rhythm. Trying to settle into this game. Malone getting a touch. Giyu. Egesvik cuts out the pass. Savitsky runs into trouble. And Thailand have numbers. But they released it quickly. But not the best option. Sawalak Pengnam obviously has done her research on Olivia McDaniel. She's been looking to catch her out, but she had numbers going forward there, Darren. Yeah, and sometimes when that happens, it's premeditated. Uh, same player getting on the ball, doing the same thing a couple of times. But as we've mentioned, it's going to take something very, very special to score against McDaniel from that sort of distance. Quesada hit the deck, but the challenge was clean. Giyu. Shielded nicely by Kanjanapur. The player is getting entangled there. Giyu. Not afraid to get physical. You can see the Ultras Filipinas enjoying themselves. Katrina Giyu, a real spark plug for the Philippines, adds a lot of energy to this team. Diagonal ball. Harrison looking to cut it out, misses the ball. Recovers, but the whistle is blown. Thailand looking to play quickly here. Yeah, sometimes being the slightly physical side, it could go against you in those little 50-50 decisions. Harrison uh, just very eager to get on the ball. Referee judging that she was too physical, winning it. Two shots apiece, and now it's Thailand's turn to threaten from a set piece. Ball into the box, straight into the hands of Olivia McDaniel. Had a slight bobble. 